All right, let's get building here. So this week's activity is to see how fast you can do five burpees. In order to keep track of that, we have two splats. You press one splat. In this case, it's splat three to start the stopwatch, and then splat four, or start the stopwatch with splat three, and then stop the stopwatch with splat four. And that makes a little bit more sense when you think of the code in the context of all of the other activities that will use splat three and four for this week's code. So when the program starts, we want to light splat three and four with the colors red and green to show that they are the start and stop buttons. Red and green for three and four. And then very simply, when splat three is pressed, we're going to light it with yellow. We're going to do that by duplicating our block we already used. We light it with yellow so you can see that it's been pressed and you know that your stopwatch has started for you. So that's a when splat three pressed. In addition to turning the splat yellow, we're going to play a sound so you know for sure that your exercise has started. We're going to use the classic ref whistle, which is a sports sound. A quick interruption, Ryan. You swapped the red and the green. So splat three, I green, did. splat four, red. Always good to double check, and we would have had to catch that when we tested it out. Green and red. Thank you. So green turns into yellow, and then it plays a ref whistle on splat three. Splat two. Nope, it's this is splat three. So splat one is week one. Week two is splat three and four because they're a pair next to each other, and then week three is actually splat two. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, no, but we're on the the second week. Correct. So week three uses splat two. Okay. And then week two uses splats three and four together. Okay, so that way they're next to each other in the, in the command center here. Oh, there's just that. So we would need to correct that in the um, PDF itself. It says splat two, ref whistle. Oh, okay. That's actually not a huge deal. Um, on that block, if it's playing the sound out of splat two, that just means that that splat would make the sound instead of the splat that you pressed. But yeah, that, that's a good catch there. Okay. The program still would still would work mostly the same way. <laughs> so we light the splat three with the color yellow. We play sound ref whistle on splat three. If it was set to splat two accidentally, it doesn't, doesn't hurt too bad. Um, then we set the stopwatch to zero just to make sure it sets itself over. So set stopwatch to zero. And then we start the stopwatch. We set it to zero first so that you can use this code over and over again without having to rerun your code. So once you hit run, you can keep using the three and four splat over and over again to, to track start and stop of the stopwatch. Uh, Ryan, one of our viewers just caught another little mistake. We should set when program starts to three. Yeah, so that when program starts, I have it there as a three so that it, um, it shows that it's like the third section of the code that actually doesn't make a huge difference in the way the program executes. So if you have when program starts one, two, and three, they all start at the same time. It just is kind of a way to keep track of them. So if you look at our final combined cone image, mm -hmm. this might help it make a little bit more sense. Ah, I see. All so right, I yeah. can, I'll expand this a little bit right here. So the one that we're doing today is this rightmost one, which is light splat three and four, and then use splats three and four as a start and stop button. In the final week, we'll use that splat two finally to get the countdown from 30. So as the whole challenge culminates on week three, you'll have splat one doing your count from 10. You'll have splat two doing your countdown from 30. And then splats three and four are your start and stop buttons. That makes a lot of sense. But thank you, Cassidy. Good eye. Yeah. Eagle no, it's a good catch. And that's one of those things. I did it here so that it's um, it's a little bit clearer when it's all laid out. But when you do each individual week, that can be a little bit confusing. Again, in the pack, there's a little picture to show you what that final week will look like. Splat one is our count from 10. Splat two, which you'll do next week, is your countdown from 30. And then splats three and four are your start and finish buttons. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good good clarification point. So after we start the stopwatch, we'll be on splat four. So we can go ahead and duplicate this whole block right here. 
and I'll bring up our code image again. We're on week two. So on our right hand side, we're going to have just to make this a little bit bigger. Splat three lights the splat yellow, plays the ref whistle sound, and then sets the stopwatch to zero, and then starts the stopwatch. Splat four. Splat four will light splat three with color green <laughs> to show that it's restarted. So this is splat four pressed. And then play the sound ref whistle. This could be on both splats. If you wanted to make sure it was heard, you could duplicate this block right here and say splat three and splat four. But in the code that you'll download, it'll just be on splat three. We don't need to set the zero again because we're ending our stopwatch. So we get rid of that block. And then we set this to stop start watch. Stop stopwatch. So let's go back over this to make sure we didn't miss any of those little things. Uh, let's set this to three, just so it matches what our code download would have been. When the program starts, light splat three with color green, light splat four with color red. Uh, when splat three is pressed, turn it yellow for a second to show you that the stopwatch is running, set the stopwatch to zero with some sound, and then start the stopwatch. Once you've done your five burpees, you press splat four to stop your stopwatch and see what your time was. So let's give that a test. I'm going to do little mountain climbers with my. <laughs> yes, you can imagine yourself doing the five burpees. It should be difficult in our Zoom meeting. My, my natural athleticism is really shiny. <laughs> yes, my camera would probably shake a little bit too much if I took that on. But let's say we stop right about here. When you press splat four, makes another ref whistle sound and turns that splat three back to green. And again, you don't actually have to start the program over again. You can just keep using it and track your scores every time you stop. And that's it. That's our code for week two. Did you see how many burpees I did? I, I, didn't, I didn't catch how many hand burpees or hand mountain climbers there were. Uh, it was 50. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's pull up our two documents that we might need to track that. So just for the code part of the video, this is where our code ends. We have our starting, start the stopwatch, stop the stopwatch, which matches our sheet.